Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and Star Daily Card Reading for August 16th, 2021. I just finished the weekly. If you have not gone back and watched the weekly, please make sure that you do that. And this is the part where we just break it down day by day. We have some complicated energies coming up. Again, these are usually timeless. I mean, you can always go back to any day <laughs> and see what is coming up. So let's break it down here. Let's start with August 16th, day by day. Yeah, and give these messages very, very serious consideration. And if you want to do some heart activation, some heart healing, soulmate work, I do have the seven day Archangel Raphael meditation challenge now available over at gumroad.com slash angel souls. Or if you would like a personal reading with me, which also includes if you want an Akashic Records reading, just make sure you mention that in your submission form. It's angelsouls444.com. Here it is. Innocence. We are so... <laughs> unplugging from the drama, from the craziness, from all the narratives, from all the fear mongering, from all the, if you're a good person, you'll do this. And we're getting back to basics here. And this might even be some inner child healing. This might be trying to get back to simpler times. Now I want to explain this because this is not the energy of just being in denial, running away not acknowledging what's happening. You know, we're not taking a childish approach, right? But rather we're getting back in touch with the sense of peace and serenity. If you watch the weekly, the peace, sanctuary, reflection, it's a big time for that. And this is why, because we're trying to get back in to our purest sense of self. And I do love that there are two children on this card. So this might be, mm, some of you might be reconnecting with someone that you knew as a child. Um, it's kind of weird that this is coming up for me. Actually, my best friend from, oh God, from seventh grade on into high school just recently passed away. And it was, you know, obviously she's my age, uh, knocked me for a loop. Uh, it was very unexpected. And a lot of stuff starts to happen. Of course, that family's been through so much. And, you know, my friends from that time, you know, of course, they're all, we're all going through it together. But there was this thing where it felt like like a tug from a certain time and space where it just kind of got flung away. And I had to stop and just, again, I took sanctuary. <laughs> Actually going along with the message that was coming up in the weekly, I kind of took sanctuary. I kind of just stayed within and, you know, just allowed myself to process that. But a lot of memories from when I was, you know, 13, 14 years old that was coming up. And so were a lot of the mindset, the, the self-belief, the um, narrative that I would tell myself, the issues I was going through at that time, all of these old memories, it was like she passed o over and kicked open the Pandora's box. And obviously I'm a medium, so I can feel her, <laughs> I can feel her around. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is, this is what I'm talking about here. There could be, not that that's going to happen to you but this is just my personal example, but the, it could be that kind of thing where all of these memories come flooding forward and, and you realize that you need to be able to find your peace and harmony no matter what is going on. And that I think is almost like the biggest secret out there, isn't it? Because there's a whole lot of narrative out there that pushes us away from that. And we get very circumstance dependent, <laughs> right? As far as our happiness. And we don't have control over that stuff. And yet people will try. People will try very hard, even if it's in the most, the, the pettiest of situations, they will try to have control. How many of you work in a work environment where, you know, someone's always trying to scapegoat you or they're trying to control you and tell you to do it this way and maybe you're prideful and so you want to control back and now it's this terrible environment instead of being cooperative with one another and control in how people see you. How people define you instead of you allowing yourself to show up and tell your own story. That's an important lesson for us today. And I would explore that. I'm going to be exploring that. And I hope you will too. And I hope you'll allow yourself to get back into that place of innocence. All right. So we're going to leave it there. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.